please welcome into the blue corner, Simon, the Freedom Fighter for it. And his opponent here tonight fighting out of the red corner. Give it up for Zach Shabira. This 61.5 kilo bout is for under A class rules and is for the vacant World Combat League European title. Introducing first the fighter in the blue corner, representing Rough Diamonds, give it up for Simon, the Freedom Fighter for And his opponent here tonight fighting out of the red corner. He's representing the Nozzy Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Zach Shabira. Over to your fighters and your referee. Vacant European title at the Royal Combat League here. Full-tie rules matched at 61.5 kilograms. It is Simon, the Freedom Fighter Forest, head-to-head -head with Zach Chabira. I think this has the makings to be a very, very good fight. Two different attributes with both fighters. Alex, what do we expect? Very different styles. Zach Chabira, very fast, long-range, very good striker. Simon Forrest is old and experienced, good clincher. Zach Chabira, very young, very hungry. I have no idea what's going to happen. Big corners in both corners here, look. Well supported. Round one. You expect Chibira to be a little bit more lively than Forrest. He uses a lot of energy when he fights. Forrest just seems to pull off wins, doesn't he? He's, he's seems like he's been around forever, Simon Forrest. But again, as I, as I said in the beginning, look how fast Jibiru is with his striking. He, he got his own gym as well, Forrest, but he travels around and trains everywhere, you see. Goes, I mean, he's, McGowan's been very close to him. He's a very special fighter. He also goes up bad company, works with Houston, everyone up there as well. 
good kicks from, from Chabira. Good range. Yeah, chabira has got good energy, hasn't he, when he fights Alex? Yes, yes. Look, Simon's trying trying to low kick. Chabira's blocking and throwing body kicks. And he's landing. A few of them landed, landed underneath the arm. Very good. Nice ring work. He could have thrown a kick at the end of that Chabira, but. Forrest takes steps as he pulls it back there, though. Well poised there. Almost exactly the pan you'd expect as well. Oh, good catch from Chabira, but didn't, didn't capitalize. Yeah, that's very well timed down low well there. Well timed inside leg kick. Body shot and right kick and a good Fluent. team. Fluent. It's kid stylistic, I'm telling you. Double left kick. Very good. Very fast, long range, Shabira. Yeah. Shabira's energy is high. Forrest with a very, very good kick there, though, in response. Goes oh, down to the good body. Right kick. Time right kick from Chibura. And then one from Forrest, but on, on to the back by, Chib by Chibura. Yeah, well set up this. Forrest throwing good shots as well when he gets range, but Chibura's energy does look high, doesn't it, for Forrest at the moment? I don't think Forrest can keep pace like this. No, Chibira can. Chibira, this is Chibira's main attribute. He's fast and he's fit. Whereas Forrest is not using his main attribute yet, which is engaging into a clinch. I don't think it'll be long before you see Forrest using elbows when he realizes the pace that he's getting thrown here. See, just as I said it, Chibira goes inside and upstairs. Good check by Simon Forrest in the end, good block. Very good round for Chibira. Almost the pace we're expecting, isn't it? Yes, yes. Chibira faster on the, on, on the outside, long range. And then Simon Forrest, more experienced, maybe he's just warming into the fight and building into it. Only round one of five, of course. But that was high energy for a first round. Yes, it's very fast. A lot of shots thrown there. Very I fast. I wonder if Chibira could do that for five rounds, but he, he does seem to have that energy, doesn't he? He always does. He always finds it somewhere. Roll two. Well, straight away, body kick, and Chibira wants to show him that this is the pace you're going to have to fight me at for five rounds. I think that's his statement of intent, don't you? Yes, but look how, how much faster Simon Forrest started this, this round. He has to, Alex. He has to keep pace. Good time inside kick from Chibira. Chibira. Forrest trying to set something up. Pulled out of it there. Good high kick from Chibira. Good catch and sweep. Very good. Threw a punch in between yeah, as well. Good kick into the body from Forrest though as well. Yeah, 
just misses again, both fighters. And they, their range has been very, very good, hasn't it? Yes, oh, good combination from Tamira. Yeah, Body left shot, left foot landed flush. Good knee as well. And again, in with the hands, got those fast hands. Hands flowing from Chibira. He needs to follow up with an elbow when he gets those combinations off, though, as well. But those opportunities don't come round often. But Forrest is trying, just trying to do exactly what he needs to do, which is going with a long left knee and then trying to get in the clinch to, to cancel out Chibira's speed. Yeah, we, we did say before the fight, we fancied Forrest on the clinch here. And we fancied Chibira with his energy on the outside. Oh, put him back into that nosy academy corner there. Shabira just starts to... And it's Shabira actually has got a good position in the clinch there. The better position. Neither fighter looking for elbow in tight yet. <laughs> is Forrest really that dominant in the clinch at this time though, Alex? I think it's a bit too soon, Ch Chibira's still too fresh. Yeah, how would that wear as this fight goes on, yeah. There good knee go. from Forrest, oh, good, good takedown from Chibira. As they were fighting for position, Forrest yeah, did knee. Daniel McGowan in the corner is saying clinch him, go and clinch him. I, I would say the same. I would say that's that's the way forward. Because Chibira, look at that. Impossible to fight long range. Forrest so gets up warily there. He didn't jump up there. Wow. Yes. Spinning back for his lead. Good lead back from Chibira. Good round that from Chibira. Chibira looks in round. control to me now. Just, he's controlled the pace of the fight. And I don't think Forrest has been comfortable fighting at that pace. I think Forrest wants to fight a little bit slower, real tight style, and to come up as the rounds go on. Yes, even in but the... But what's going to happen in the later rounds now? Is that going to be an advantage to Simon Forrest? Even in the clinch, if you notice, Shapiro didn't look uncomfortable, or at least not as uncomfortable as I thought. But will he later on in the fight as they get tired? I don't, I don't think Shapiro's going to slow down much unless Simon can drag him down in the trenches in the clinch. Bully him, he's got to bully him and drag him, right? He has to force the clinch, he has to. I can hear Daniel McGowan, like I said, in that round, shouting to him, get the clinch, go and get your arms around him, clinch him. But Shapiro is very, very light on his feet. He moves around fluently, doesn't he? Yes, good, good forward. He's good at get, getting out of that pressure of, of the clinch. See Christian Knowles take the corner. Christian Knowles is telling you. Whenever he's in the corner, you watch him go and look at the other fighter. It always goes and has a look at their circumstances. Don't worry about just Knowles. Let's see how they're getting on. You know? Don't worry about our corner. How's their corner getting on? And then we'll see what we're doing, you know? I love yeah. that. Chris is, Chris is telling him to think. Look, the there he goes. You see that? Yeah. Shapiro's body language is yeah, very... Yeah, really firing up Simon Forrest here as well. Forrester is already starting to dig deep, but well, Shapiro's not, not, not out of second gear yet. Traffet very, very experienced as well. Round three. Well, round three. It's been two fantastic rounds so far at a very, very high pace. Just shows you how fit Simon Forrest is as well. That is what he needs to do, Forrest. Throw a shot, push the, push the clinch, throw another shot, push the clinch again. Yeah, he looks good with those long knees, Forrest, doesn't he? Even if he gets outscored, he will tire Chibira out. Good catch and body shot from Chibira. Really good. Now Forrest goes in with the elbows, he puts him in that corner. It's great, he tried to throw it from a funny angle there, but it was well executed from Forrest and it just, just didn't have the legs on it. 
It's happening now. It's happening while we said in the beginning it's happening. Chibira is going to lose power in the hands because of the clinch. Even though he's outscoring Forrester. Yeah, Forrest is leaning on him as well. Yes, even though he's outscoring Forrester. He, he, oh, great sweep as we said it. But watch now. Chibira is going to try and throw fast hands, but he's not going to have that much venom in, in him anymore. Chibira looks happy to go to that clinch, but Forrest does look strong and dominant in there, doesn't he? Look at Forrest's right hand trying to go on the inside and then throw a knee, and then his left hand pushes on the inside, throw another knee. And all, all the while, he's just taking the energy out of Chibira's shoulders and hands. Chibira wants the elbow, so does Forrest. Big right elbow. And a good knee takes a very good position, Simon Forrest. Elbows are flying in round three, my friend. Forrest done exactly what he needed to do. He got beat up for two rounds, but he did take the life out of Chibira's hands. Yeah, I totally see that as well. That's when I said to you, Chibira wanted him to fight at this pace or fight. But Forrest, I said to you, will that clinch later on start to give Forrest that physical advantage and energy? If, if Forrest would have for Chibira's pace. Chibira could have kept that pace for five rounds. If Forrester wouldn't have started clinching, I think Chibira would have stopped him with a hand. So do I. Forrest done exactly what he needed to do. And look, the fight is so much more balanced now. Good fight. Forrest going to war. Chibira. Oh, back fist. Executing really well. Back elbow from Chibira. They're really going at it, both of them now. Chibira trying to spin him backs of his own. Forrest marching him down though, not letting him have any breathing space at all. Absolutely swamping him with that clinch as well. Up goes that knee, very high. Jabira elbows through the center. Good fight, Alex. Very good fight. What does Jabira need to do differently now, do you think? Jabira needs to do a short boxing combination, take a step back, and then another boxing combination. Fighters hug each other at the end of that round. Really loving that. Great energy from them both. That's great sportsmanship there. Do you see them laugh with each other? Yes, yes. I love very that. Good. Very good. I love that. Forrest is going to push the clinch. He's going to carry on pushing the clinch. And Chabira, he needs to throw, throw some hands and take a step back and let Forrest miss his push and then go back in again. Simon Forrest is cut here, I think. See him patching something round his eye. Now, when Christian Knowles will stand up and have a look in that corner. I watch him how he takes corners all the time. And if he sees that, that will go back into the nosy corner, trust me. Uh, look, 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 look at their body language. Chapira's cardio is on point, but That's his real. shoulder might have had enough. His shoulders might have had enough from that clinch. Yeah, and I think Boris has, however much energy he had, where he gets a good grip on the clinch and pushes, puts his weight on him, he's taken a lot of his energy away, hasn't he? That, 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 I think that was his plan all along. Yep. Listen, he's got Andy Housen, Dan McGowan, and Prophet in his corner. If we know it, they definitely know they it. They definitely know it. And they're going to tell him, look, you can't fight him long range, he's too fast. Just go and drag him down, you slow him down. this kid down, you got to hold him down, right? 100%. Simon Forrest, last round, Simon Forrest has done exactly what he needed to do. A very, very big round for Simon Forrest there. Wow. Great need to start off the round from Chibira. And another one. Good oh, kick good for Forrest kick as well. Yeah, if anything, I think maybe Forrest took that last round. With that, with that energy. Chibira had strong points at every point. But is he hurting Forrest? Is there any effect here? That's what you gotta think as well. He's never stopped coming forward, Simon Forrest. No, oh, and he can't afford to, because the, the moment he stops coming forward, Chibira will unleash that speed. Good 
encounter. Jumping kick from, from Forrest blocked and encountered well by Chibira. Now Forrest looks a bit tired in the pitch as well. He does, but he looks stronger than Chibira when they're close like that. For some reason, he looks bigger and stronger when he's in the clinch there. Just his stature. Shabira. Is Shabira scoring here? He's got high energy, but has that accuracy that we've seen in round one just gone a little bit at the it's moment? It's hard to keep the accuracy once your opponent starts clinching and taking life out of your shoulders. It's hard to keep the accuracy. But look at the knees that Shabira's throwing just before they engage in the clinch. They're very good. They're on point. Are they effective? Forrest is walking into them, so I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah. And then Simon Forrest does one just the same. Oh, good body shot from Chibira. Relentless pressure here from Forrest. Chibira working well on the back foot and making this a proper match. As you can see, Simon Forrest is clinching. It's not the same as it was last round, but it's still doing the right thing in pushing, pushing forward. None of them spinning back elbows are landing today. I think they're better off trading the elbows square on. Spinning back in front of Chibira, good elbow from Forrest. Yeah, and again, Chibira wears it well, but I think the pressure of Forrest is really showing now. Good score in the back. The pressure is showing now. It's a pressure game for Forrest here. Elbows on the way in from Forrest. Good knees, good straight knees coming in from Forrest. But it's still Shapiro that looks the fresher out of the two. He threw a lot of back, he threw a block of back elbows there, but they. They're not landing, they're not stopping Forrest. I think the pressure of Simon Forrest here is taking him ahead of this fight now, Alex. I don't know, that round was Shabiro done really good that round. And even if Simon Forrest pressured him more, Shabiro still looked the pressure. I think we go into this round needing a big round from Zach Shabira, Alex. I do. Whether the, whether the judges have scored out round one properly, I don't know. But I think I worry for the Nosey Academy corner that the forest pressure. It's, it is getting to him. But it's still, getting to him. Yeah. It is Shabira that, that that won the first two rounds, and it is Shabira that looks more more fresh. Forrest had a big, big third round, but then round four. I think the pressure from him would have taken that as well. But let's see. Let's see, know. let's see. Only the judges know. Let's see what happens this round. Shabira looks Real very fight. lively, but I think he needs to hurt Simon for him to really get an advantage on this fight. And don't forget there's a vacant European title up for grabs here for one of these two guys. Big D by Forrest. Great work on the outside by Shabira. That's what he needed to do all along. Oh, a tip in the face. A really good push kick there. Backs into the ropes, but again, Forrest doesn't leave him alone. Never stops coming forward. Good push kick to stop Shabira's kick there. And then to keep that momentum going forward. And the Nausea boys are almost all of them into the ring fighting alongside Shabira.
good scoring by Shabira on the, on the back foot. On the back oh. foot. Did you see that step to the side? Great there. movement as well. But I think he needs more effect and needs to hurt Forrest now. I really do. I think Forrest is just walking through this. Good high kick, good body kick. Good body kick. Good knee from Forrest has returned. Another yeah, one. And again. Another one. Oh, he takes himself out. All he knows is just forward Forrest. He hasn't got in reverse at all, has he? The whole fight since round three, he's just been moving forward. Good knee. Shabira again. now starting to look tired. We oh. called it early in the fight. Forrest leaning on him and clinching him up, has taken that sprightly energy away from Jabira. But he never locked in the clinch. He always pressured the clinch, but he never got strong enough. Yep. He just let Jabira off. But I think, I think, look at that combination from Jabira. I think he's oh, called. Oh, spinning back kick. I think the tactics were right for Forrest here from his corner, though. I don't think today he could have stood toe to toe with Jabira, the way he moves around. But he's actually doing that as we're speaking now. Because Jabira has lost a bit of that sprightly energy. Yes, but he's still scoring, he's still landing the cleaner shots. So is Forrest. Forrest is landing the harder shots, but Jabira's landing more of them. Tired fighters now. Very good. Simon Forrest has done everything he needed to do this fight. So he should have, have done just more of it, maybe. Shabira needs to elbow when he's that tight with him. He tries to find punches from tight angles. Great fight. What a great fight. Very good fight. Good Very good. Both fighters. Shabira goes to the air, they're going to score the shots from the outside. Then the judges will look at that. I'll tell you what though, I think the tactics were very, very, very good for Simon Forrest. And I think that clinch going forward all the time will definitely have put something on those judges' scorecards. In, in Thailand, I, I think Forrest might have just have edged in. I think so. But Shabira looked more confident in the last round, more elegant in his shots, and he did land more of them. We'll have to see. I'm impressed with the energy from uh, Forrest as well. Down to the judges' scorecards here at Raw Combat League. One of these two fighters has just taken the vacant European title at 61.5 kilograms. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we need to make some noise for both these guys. What a fight! And after five rounds of A-class action, we go to the judges' scorecard. And we have a winner by split decision for your new Raw Combat League European Champion fighting out of the right corner, the Jabira! And a massive round of applause for Simon, the Freedom Fighter Forest. Well, Jabira's energy was very, very high then. Very high. And that's what's won that fight. Simon Forrest made it very, very close and made a real fight of it. I thought his tactics were superb. At one point, I thought he's going to win that. But I tell you what, Zach Shabira, my God, kid, you have grown and you deserve that 100%. Very, very well-timed shots in there. Look tired, look very tired towards the end. But Zach Shabira is the Royal Combat League European Champion.